welcome to King David Ministries, the Reverend Eddie Royal Senior. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord He has made. I will, and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome again to another edition of King David Ministries, and I am the pastor of King David Ministries, Pastor Eddie L. Royal Sr. Amen. And we thank you because there is a junior, in, and he's got uh, one, he got three sons. Amen. So, Amen. So there's Eddie Royal Senior, Eddie Royal Junior. There is Quincy Royal. Then there is the Eddie Royal the Third. And then there's the well, he's not new now. He's about a year, year and a half. Keyshawn Royal. Amen. Praise God. So there are five royals. That's all. Just playing tonight. We thank and praise God for that. But I do also have two daughters. Amen. Katina Doreen Royal. Amen. And also Christine Bernetta Royal. Amen. We thank and praise God for them. Amen. So, anyway, we have been talking about the kingdom. Well, Pastor Roy, is that that's it? So far as I'm concerned, I, I found in the Word of God and in study, that's it. And I'm and I and, and I and I and I'm, I'm right. Again, as we have said, looking at the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, is not but one thing, one, one thing that Jesus preached, and that is the kingdom of God. That is it. I done read it, and I'm getting ready to go back over it again. The four gospels. That's all he preached. He never preached on healing. He never preached on prosperity. Because in a kingdom is commonwealth. However, and uh, there is um, a script. I think I do have it. Um, uh, yeah, I do. I think I do. Anyway, we'll go there. Okay, I think that is in uh, Matthew 4. 4, 17. That was his first sermon, as a matter of fact. His first sermon. So, we got a little time. We're going we're gonna to do that. But that's that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's it. And, according to... Matthew 28, which is the Great Commission, and what did Jesus say? Jesus said in the Great Commission, uh, 20, Matthew 27, we're just going to look at verse 19. Now, again, as we teach and preach and we all learn together, no preacher tell, should tell you I know it all, what I'm preaching to you that they don't learn. I don't care who they are. We all, we learn until, until we either leave or get caught up. I'm learning. I learn in, even in, in the ministry on first Sundays and those that come in since the channel, I learn from them. They learn from me. Okay, we, we, we research together. All right, we, as I said before, I, I do thank God that her, that this channel's research is, is, is getting spot on. Okay? So, we all learn this thing. And nobody can say that I know it all. I'm going to preach to you or teach to you, but I got all, I got all this nah, nah. Mm -mm. It's always a learning thing. It's a learning process. Amen. So, the Great Commission. Matthew 27, verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples. Disciples means student. And he's talking to who? The church. He ain't talking to that about that building. He ain't talking about our traditions. Church is you individually. Uh-oh. It's ecclesia. A synod that Jesus set up. Individuals. It's a church. Amen. And remember, Jesus is the head. He's the boss. 
Amen. So it ain't about that building sitting on the corner. Not. Okay. The building is a agency of heaven. Amen. Whereas from the unseen that it was set on the scene. And that is that we is an ambassador place that, that we are ambassadors for folks to come to what? Learn. Now, they go back to verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples. That is students. That's what we come there to do. Learn. Not to be, get feel good and yelling and screaming. We can praise God. That's fine. Get good service. But I need more than just getting feeling good. Amen. And the, especially in these last and evil days. And you know that, well, the, de the devil ain't been too, and many of our churches ain't, ain't been too much called. We ain't been put, it's nothing but tradition, something to do. We go there on Sunday, that's it. We go on Sunday school, that's it. We go in by midweek Bible study, that's it. We don't apply it, okay, whatever it is. And there ain't but one thing, the kingdom, that's it. Sorry. And don't, don't, don't get mad, don't, don't, don't get mad. Read it, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and not but one thing he preached was the kingdom and it ain't about coming there and just 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 something to do five hours and go and that's it and the devil will knock you in the mouth before you even get out the church but usually he ain't gonna do too much of that because you really ain't nothing learning nothing but baby when you get to this okay and it's not been obscured as daddy Chandler said been there all the time and but one thing study it i didn't go to seminary okay but it's right there Okay, go therefore and make what? Disciples of all nations. Mm -hmm. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is Jesus talking to us that are born again believers, the church that he set up. Okay, teaching them. He didn't say making them feel good. Teaching them. I'm going to say that again. This is the master talking. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And Lord, I'm with you always, even to the end of the earth. He said, what I taught you, you teach them, not what you want. You teach what I taught you to them. We've gotten off. We come up with all kinds of sermons, all kinds of messages, all kinds of teaching. He ain't tell you to do one thing that encompasses some, some things that one of them I'm going to get into. Okay? If I got time. All right? But ain't but one thing. The kingdom. That's it. Period. That's how he spoke. Amen. We're trying to get God to come to God. God's not interested by coming here. Okay? He said he made heaven and earth. Jesus plainly told us when we ask, they ask him, teach us to pray. Our Father who is not here. I didn't write it. I wasn't born. I wasn't here when I was born. I wasn't, I, I wasn't selected to write the Bible. But I wasn't here. And it's been there all the time. Our Father who's not here. God ain't here. You trying to get him to come here. He ain't coming. Not here. He made this for us. That's where man fell. Don't never preach talking about man fell. Man fell from dominion and rulership. That's it. That's why he pulled out and then Jesus brought it back. Oh, God. Hmm? Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. What I taught you, you teach them. That's it. That's it. And he said, seek first the kingdom and all these things. I, I don't care if I'm a layman or whatever. That's it. And all that's going to come along. And then, then here he comes, and, and Paul comes in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. And he himself gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists. You need to be writing these scriptures down and checking Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11, verse 11 and 12, at 13. And he himself gave some to be apostles, 
prophets, evangelists, some pastors, some, some, some pastors, and teachers. But he didn't stop there. Verse 12, for the equipping of the saints, he didn't say sinner. That diplomat sinner is for the saints to be trained. Well, I'm going, you know, I'm, my friend next door, they're not safe. Then you get them safe. So when they get to the when they get to the, uh, to the diplomat center, amen. They already say because it says here for the equipment of the saints. Now they give them the joint church, but it says the equipment of the saints. Now you know that person in 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 in, in, in that's in that uh, congregation. Now say that you get them saved, but you get them saved if you know it. Get them saved before that, but maybe they didn't. Okay. Now if they come there. And they're already there. And you're teaching the saint. And they come up and say, I want to accept Christ. Then you take them there and confess. Not give the preacher your hand and guard your heart. You confess. Romans 10 and 9. If I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. With my mouth. I didn't say it. The Lord Jesus. And believe in my heart. Lord have mercy. I'm off already. Ah. Romans 10 and 9. And, and that 10th verse has a lot to do to Romans 10, verse 9. Uh, okay. The word is now you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Verse 9. If you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. I didn't write this. With your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10. For with the heart one believes, one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, oh God, not preacher, give your preacher hand and, and you got your No! No! And with the mouth, confess. Confession is made unto salvation. I ain't ready. So what are you saying, Pastor Roy? I am saying it. If that person does not say, instead of you, you, you don't have to do it in front of God, take them back there and get them saved. But can let them confess it. Or let them confess it in the front. It would be best if you just take them back and confess it out so they confess it with them. I didn't write this. But that's not the hand here. And got to know. They got to confess it. Show sure is quiet. Huh? My mother's favorite scripture. She used to always quotes me this coming up as a little boy. The Lord, uh, uh, Psalms 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Father, we thank you for the word, the anointing of his own word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, God. We praise God. Now, with that said, with that said, now, talking about the kingdom. Well, and, and I have my notes here, but, because right, I want to talk all quickly at the end about that within that we need the Holy Spirit. I hope I can get to it. But anyway, I got, I got 17, 16 minutes. Okay. Um, Luke chapter 43. Let's, and see, I got my notes somewhere, but let's, 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 let's go to the Word. Let's go to the Word. Luke chapter 4, verse 43. Verse 43. But he said to them, this is, Jesus is about to speak. I must preach. Sure is quiet. I must preach this in red letters too. I must preach the kingdom of God oh, to the other cities also, because they tried to get him to stay. Because, because I'm reading it here from the Word. Get your Bible, Luke chapter four forty three. I must preach the kingdom of God to the other cities also because for this purpose I have been sent. 
Now what? That's what's his purpose. Period. That's it. Now what? Huh? Now what? It was his purpose, ladies and gentlemen, that the Savior came, that he, and he just explained it in his word. I must preach the kingdom of God, that kingdom of God. That's here that we're sitting in right now. Okay? We're trying to get to heaven. Some glad morning when this life is over. No. 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 You know, I, and I'm trying to find out, because I've seen it all the time. Uh, when one passes, what where, where do wings come in at? Uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me. There's a song we sang, Two Wings Will Be On My Face Feet. And, you know. What for? Well, I need, I, angels have wings, but some, some of them I don't think all of them do. But, why? Why? Okay? All this. Back to Jesus. The kingdom of God to the other city, because for this purpose, I have been sent. Luke chapter 22, verse 29. Luke chapter 22. Follow me. Verse 29. Because see, this is what we're supposed to be preaching even on our Sunday morning, sir. You hoop after this. Then you can go, mm, and I heard... Okay, but do this first. Do this first. So they can get something in them. He said the word preach. I didn't write it. Hebrews chapter 4. The word preach did not profit them. It's got to profit me. Okay? Not just the speaker. Okay? The word preach did not profit them. Not being missed with faith in them that hurt. You didn't hear it, but what you did here was to make me feel good. Yeah! Ah, ah. Okay, later. Do that later. It didn't profit you. And you've been there 50, 60 years. Still didn't profit. That, I didn't write it. Hebrews chapter 4. I didn't write it. Read it for yourself. Okay. All right. uh, Hebrews, I mean, uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 29. Oh, boy, today. Watch this. This is Jesus speaking. Let's still start at 28. But you are those who continue with me in my trial. Watch this. Verse 29. Write it down. Write it down. And I bestow. This is Jesus speaking. And I bestow upon you a kingdom. He said, I confer. In King James, it's confer or bestow. But it says here, I bestow, bestow on, upon you a kingdom just as my father bestowed one on me. And a kingdom is, an, is a territory, is a nation. It's a country. That's why we are called ambassadors. That's all. It's tougher than the president, tell you too. Okay? Because if you hit me, that's an assault. But you hit an ambassador, that's an in international incident. And we are ambassadors for Christ. I didn't write it. Amen. He bestowed upon us a kingdom. Amen. It's a country. It's a territory like we in right now. <sighs> oh God. Matthew chapter 10, verse 7. Matthew chapter 10. Oh God. Matthew chapter 10, verse 7. Don't argue. We can't argue. None of us. Can't argue this. If, 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 if which 
whoever is showing me and anybody can show it to you in the world and when you're arguing with it well i've been doing this for 50 years and i ain't gonna change okay fine but I, i'm just telling you what this say i ain't gonna change i tell you okay fine it'll be changed for you you who you think you are you have to change your, your message so that people can learn. Sorry. No, I won't. Okay, fine. Verse 7. Watch this. And as you go, preach. Preach to the claim. Saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Or is near in the King James in, the, in another version. That's actually what it means. It has arrived. And what did he say? And this is Jesus speaking. And as you go preach, sing. I did not write it. I'm reading this from the word. Now I need my notes. And as you go preach, saying, You think that's just for back then? And this word standing here. I'm holding it, got my hand on it right now. It's for now. Okay? Yeah, let's see. Verse 7. And as you go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely you have back. I ain't right. It. Okay, let's go on. Matthew chapter 4, 7. Matthew chapter 4. Let's see here. And Jesus said to him, It is written. Okay, that's, that's wrong. 4 17, I believe. This is one of Jesus. First Sunday, I'm sorry, 417. Let's go here. 417. From this time, Jesus began to preach. This was his first sermon. From this time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. It does not mean get up and say, I'm sorry. It actually means your mindset. Because we need to get up. That's, that's, that's a big one right there to all of us. Do you actually have a kingdom mindset? That's royalty. Mm -hmm. That's why we know the monarchy over there. See, we 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 are a democracy, a kingdom, and looking at, at the word of God, that's where it's set up in a kingdom. And that's a theocracy. It's a king. And king is sovereign. They don't have presidents, and neither does this. So we look at the Bible, I've learned you have to look at it in, in, in terms of a king, king a kingdom. King's dominion. That's where he set it up. That's what it is. A kingdom. And what did he say again? 17. And from that time, Jesus began to preach. Repent. Change your, your thinking. For the kingdom of heaven it has arrived. In other words, we got to think kingdom. We got to think royalty. That's going to take time. We've been thinking a certain way for 50 years, 60, and been hearing it, and it's downloaded. The devil said, yeah, fine. But baby, you get to, now, you're going to have to change it. That's why, it, actually, you talking about you got saved when you received receive Christ. That was just the inner man, the real you. Huh? See, again, the Bible is written to the born-again believer. Romans chapter 12 Verse, oh, okay, all right. Romans chapter 12. Verse 
Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, I beg you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. That's another one. You are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. Therefore, your, this, this is not the real you. It's your earth suit. You can tell that when that, that fifth chapter of of uh, of um of um of uh, Corinthians they use it use that at a, at a memorial service, okay, to present your body. I thought it was already presented. A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable reasonable service. Verse two, and do not be conformed to this world. This is to the believer now. Would be you transformed why? By the renewing of your mind. I thought it was already renewed. I'm sorry that it was not. And many and for many folks have joined, gotten saved, and went on to heaven, and it never was renewed. Never. And now, since we learn as a process, and we talked about that some months ago. It's a process. And in the meantime, don't think it's now, you know, especially when it comes to this. Because your mind going to fight you too. That just, just like getting off of drugs like I was. I, I used to be on drugs. I was, I was on crack for four years straight. But when I changed, and yet my mind fought me tooth and nail. I, I was at work. After I got it, and, and, and they were, I could only go for a few uh, hours or so. And my mind was going 10,000 miles an hour. I had to go down all the way down in the, the, the lowest part of, of the subterranean part in the dark. For a few minutes to get my head together because my head was fighting me too. And don't tell me it ain't going to fight you. It will. That's why you preach, preach on talking about them kids. Amen. A amen at that church, uh, at that schoolhouse. Well, I know my kids ain't going to do You don't know. You don't know. You do, you know, because the devil seek, uh, seeks a precious life. Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought. To the obedience of Christ. So therefore, there it is. Now I've given you at least four or five scriptures. Amen. Which talks about the kingdom. And that's all he preached. That's it. And the commandment was in the great commission. That you teach what I taught you. You ought to be obedient or not. I am. I am. We all, we all have. It's got to get back to that. That church. This is what it is. The kingdom is here. It ain't just that church house. The kingdom is here. If they just something to do, I'm sorry, that's out. Amen. Especially them folks coming out from under them freeway, they gonna hear it and they might have been reading. And I tell you something, they might have been reading for the last ten years. And they hear something. Well, wait a minute, but Pastor, sister, Pastor, I've been reading even though I, I was under a bridge. And where is that at? See, one thing, Daddy Chandler said, then we out of here. And I. Agree. Make sure, that's why he says, study to show yourself approved but the God of work and need to be ashamed. Write in the writing of the word to F you in the congregation or wherever it is. Make sure that's what the leader is preaching or whoever, the speaker, whatever is preaching. Amen? Because he, he or she may not be. They may be preaching their agenda. So if they do that, then you got to know, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. hold it. Because now you know. All right. Well, praise God. Amen. So think about what I'm saying. It's the kingdom. That's all Jesus preached. One message. That's all he preached was the kingdom. That's it. And he told us to do the same thing. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. That's it. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So Nestor Hotel, 5985 Century Boulevard. That's in the city of Los Angeles. Right next to the LAX airport. This Sunday will be in the to make the room on the second floor. I'll be ministering. Sister Chandler will be ministering. I believe uh, Pastor uh, Wade will be there. Amen. His, his wife, uh, Sister uh, 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 Crystal Chandler will be there. Uh, well, it's Pastor Bigelow, his mother, and their brother, amen, which is her son, uh, will be Marty Wade and others. Amen. We're going to, amen, good teaching. It's going to be Pastor Wade always, as well as Sister Chandler. And they bring, amen, good Neat messages. All right. Praise God. We thank and praise God for you. Amen. Remember, 5985 Century Boulevard. Century Boulevard. So let's hold it to Temecula Room, second floor. Live stream will start at 3 o'clock. Okay. We'll see you on tomorrow. Bye-bye.